Alley Dog Video Studio presents A Big Jet Film Might. Here we are in the most southern tip of the United States of America. It's commonly referred to as Key West. The only place in the whole wild cracky world where the dastardly saltwater crocodile and the freshwater alligator live together, coexisting with many other dangerous animals such as the panther. Before my mate, Miss Glendy Lizardo, and I embark upon our wild journey into the crazy, dangerous area known as the Everglades, we decided to visit this little island that once was a home to world's famous Ernest Hemingway. He was a crocky old man with much ambition. A lot like me, if I say so myself. Not afraid to take a nip on old sloppy joe's a drinking establishment where the floor was as sticky as the toes on that poisoned south american purple stripe green-eyed tree toad that bit me in last week's episode put me on the crapper for days but you know me mate i always spring back ready for another adventure with those crikey beasts i like to pick up and hold as for that toad I ripped him apart with my own bare hands. Speaking of dangerous beasts, we had no idea how cantankerous and deadly some of the critters that roam Key West could be. Look like this peaceful looking fella here. But truth be known, if he gets a hold of you, well wham, and it's over, like a piranha, he would march you in just seconds. We were sitting there with a mate who made just one wrong move and wham! Right before our very eyes, he was eaten in no time at all. And then, while walking down the streets, you observe all kinds of crazy wildlife like this fella here. We decided to meet up with our pilot after jumping up and down and waving our hands for hours and hours, we finally got a pilot's attention, and we got to meet him once he landed. 
after he had been given time to wash back only 12 fosters. That's Australian for beer. We were guided to our plane and ready for adventure. And what a crocky adventure it was. As you see here, we are standing in front of the first plane that we departed in. And this is all that's left. It was a dastardly crash. But as you can see, we brushed ourselves off and got onto another crocky plane that had gas this time. And off we were to tackle the mighty alligator of the Everplace. So come on with us for another adventure. My name is Tim. I'll be the captain of this little vessel for your crew here. We're going out here to see the Everglades swamps. Tower, this is Long Beach 2, ready for takeoff. Long Beach 2, ready to go. Altimeter 290, cleared for takeoff. Runway 27. Departure frequency is 127.96. Long Beach 2, Roger. Crikey, look at that, please. He's a beauty! One swipe of that tail and it's over. Later on, we're going to catch him. Let's zoom in on that crikey beast right there. Take a look at his snapping teeth. One snatch and it's over. <laughs> that crikey beast right there, if he takes a hold of you, it's boom! And then he roll and roll and roll. And the next thing you know, you be limbless. And then you swim away with part of your body. Ooh, we have activity. Look! Over there! Holy mother of crikey! I'm a worn out lad. I just rustled a gator. And he tried to take a stay. Now this is what we call Mother Nature at work. I killed the beast. The bird eats the beast. It's a crikey lot. Notice how he tears at the meat with the top beak of his. What's so crikey weird is he's eating his butt. Commonly known in the buzzard world as the most tasty part of the gaiter. <laughs> 